All right, so we are live. Uh, a couple things real quick. I noticed that last time I did my YouTube uh, stream, it posted it to my channel. That's kind of how I have it set, but I didn't know people that were unaware it was a live stream. It will pop up for them too. So if you're watching this video back, uh, this is a live stream, so I'll be interactively um, engaging with my audience as, uh, as I do the stream. And uh, I think I'm going to start doing these every day between 6 to 7. Uh, I need to find out a regular schedule once I get back into work, once this uh, human malware thing goes away. Anyways, welcome everybody to the stream. Um, last week we did FT8. Uh, it was super fun for me because I got to engage with everybody. Um, what's up, so that Minecraft? See you in the chat. Uh, but that was really fun. And uh, so I've been really hammering out the SC SSTV this week and I have a really, really good tutorial on getting started making SSTV contacts coming out tomorrow. Um, that was a really fun video to make because I actually made my first DX SSTV contact with France. I didn't really expect that to happen. And uh, typically my noise floor, as you can see, maybe you can see on my radio in the rig control up here, it's, it stays pretty high. I am in an apartment. But uh, thank, uh, anyways, thanks for watching the stream. And so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're doing a little SSTV today, if you're unaware. Uh, SSTV stands for slow scan television, so it will allow us to... Uh, pretty much stream uh, images over ham radio and receive them. Uh, I have uh, a couple tools here at my disposal. I've got my templates already set out here so that I can um, easily click on them and send people messages. Um, and I also have a collection of web pages up here. These right here will aid in trying to help me find out if my image is getting out or who's broadcasting that I can't hear. Uh, they're known as live SSTV cameras. So if I click on these links here, it shows all of the whoa, SSTV images that were broadcast um, for, um, in, in real time. And these are only if, you're, uh, if these antennas actually pick them up and are able to decode them. But uh, this website right here, uh, this right here seems to be pretty reliable for me. Uh, in terms of getting out there. So if propagation is going to work well for me, I uh, kind of like that. Um, what's, uh, shoot, what's the name? Stranger Things. Stranger Things reference down there. Um, I actually using a phone for my other camera this time. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last. I haven't checked the battery, but we might not have the, uh, the rig camera here the entire time. But we will have rig control this time because I finally got that up and working yesterday. So, uh, I will need to turn up the radio from time to time. I just tried SSTV for the first time yesterday. Uh, hey, Billy. My name's Billy, too. Uh, but didn't do too well. I'm happy you're doing stream. It will help me out immensely. Thanks. That's awesome to hear that you're trying it out. I do have that tutorial or the, uh, the video coming out tomorrow is going to have a lot more detail on how to get it set up and how to have success. Uh, but I'm sure you'll learn some stuff watching the stream here too. I noticed that SSTV is kind of hit or miss. It's like, uh, it's not as popular as, you know, some of the other modes right now, or maybe it's just harder to kind of get an image out, but if you do it at the right time, there's a lot of, uh, images that go back and forth. So I was kind of, this is kind of a gamble to stream here because I don't know if, I don't know if this is going to be active or people are going to hear me or this is going to be really slow. So uh, we'll just try to keep it as engaging as possible and see if we can make some contacts either way. Uh, hello from Iowa. Hello, Scott. How are you doing today? Uh, Kilo Echo Zero, Zulu, Victor Zulu. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. And I do have a stream chat box set up here. Uh, we're going to move this guy around to maybe have the possibility of seeing the stream chat. I'll put them in the, I can put them in the middle. Whoops. I didn't know I could go full screen there either. We'll put them right there in the black so people can see. Because uh, I've got that up and working apparently as well. Just doing some tweaks. This is the second live stream, so uh, there's still some stuff that we're getting straightened out here. But uh, I will need to turn up my radio sometimes because SSTV is one of those things. I don't want to uh, blast somebody's signal out of the water if they're they're streaming, so you will have to hear the radio every now and then when I turn it up to here and make sure that nobody's actually broadcasting an SSTV image that I can hear. 
Sounds good right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, call CQ. And I'm going to check my settings here. Make sure I am not uh, activating my automatic level control. Uh, hey from Maryland, what's going on Randy? Uh, Whiskey 3, Romeo, Romeo, Mike. Uh, welcome to the stream. I'm glad you could tune in. Uh, we're doing a little SSTV today, hopefully, if we can make some contacts. But uh, I usually have more success when I do Scotty 1 as my mode. Uh, but here recently, I just haven't been paying attention, and Martin 2 has been automatically uh, selected. But, uh, oh well, uh, we'll see. Uh, I've, I've got these SSTV cameras opened up here, and like I said, this one's usually pretty good about, um, usually a minute within transmitting my image, I'm able to uh, see my image on this website. So we'll see if I'm getting out there, if the bands are being nice, or if they're not playing well. But uh, we've got a pretty good power output on the image, maybe pushing 60 or 70 watts, so really heating up the transceiver. But with our, uh, with my circumstances of antenna, sometimes i got to do that. I think I hear an image. I don't know, sometimes you just hear things. And you guys are more than welcome to the if you have an HF radio and you have SSTV capabilities, shoot, you're more than welcome to transmit back. Let me know. Um, yeah, my noise floor is pretty high, so it is a little harder for me to hear other people. Hopefully, we'll make some contacts. Though I would hate to to stream for an hour or so and not make any contacts, but if not, we'll try to find something else to do. Or uh, if you guys have any questions, we can uh, we can handle that. So my image did get out there, as you can see on this. Uh, this station was able to to see who I am and reply to me. So that's a good sign. You know, we can show the history here, and I can see that uh, my image is popping up. So hopefully somebody else heard me out there, and uh, they're able to decode. I do have a few other websites open here. Uh, I don't have as much success with these. These guys can't hear me most of the time but uh, let's see uh this will allow me to see if, if yeah somebody just broadcasted right over right over me that's well actually i don't even yeah i didn't hear them at all but you can see no uh, that's not my call sign i don't know whose call sign it is Hey Theo, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, we're doing a little SSTV. Uh, hopefully we'll make some contacts and uh, I'll try my best not to just uh, step on people. But we'll see how it goes. I said I'm trying to listen really well to make sure. Uh... So yeah, schedule of SSTV events. Uh, there is the ARI SS blog, I think it is. Uh, this right here is usually the, the standard when it comes to um, uh, to seeing updates on when they're going to stream again. You can actually subscribe by email to their blog, and they'll send you updates. Let me uh, let me pull this up after I we'll try to TX an image again and see if we can't get out there. And I think my level control is going to permit me to bump this up one notch. Yeah, I think we're we're still good here. It's pushing quite a bit of power, but we we need it where I'm at. But uh, let's see. So this right here is the uh, usually the go-to website. It's arss-sstv.blogspot.com. Uh, they have everything. Hey, what's going on from Germany? Robin, uh, Delta, Foxtrot, Two, Romeo, Oscar. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and I need to actually make sure my volume's up so that I can hear notifications if somebody subscribes or something like that. I don't know how loud that'll be. I guess we'll see because I don't have anything else playing. But uh, yeah, this one's pretty accurate. Uh, let's see, where can you... There's also a Twitter account, but I... 
I thought there was a uh, email. Yeah, you can you can sign up from Blogger and um, somehow set up your email to where they'll they'll um, send you an email notification whenever the SSTV does their events. But uh, I assume you can also follow this Twitter account. They probably keep things pretty updated too. Uh, they had the ISS hasn't done an SSTV event in a little while. It could be due to this thing going on, but. Um, So I saw my next CQ image. Let's see if somebody doesn't come back here. Hi from Alaska. That's a uh, QO Bravo Seven Foxtrot X Ray Juliet. I have two states missing for my worked all states, and Alaska is one of them. I my antennas this they transmit everywhere east of me, and they go they can go to Europe. But I just can't get up to Alaska. I can't do it, even with FT8. So hopefully uh, the bands will open up here sometime soon and I can get some contacts down that way. But uh, yeah, welcome from Alaska. Thanks for tuning in to the stream. Uh, so far, we're not getting any bites. I didn't expect this to be too fast paced. But we will. Somebody's going to hear us eventually. So it's been about five minutes. We'll try it again. And once again, I'm just going to check and make sure my level control isn't uh, kicking in. I want to say, if you guys are interested in SSTV, uh, you're, yeah, you will learn a lot from this stream, but make sure to check out the video tomorrow. Um, I worked pretty hard on it, and it's got some good information. But um, they... Um, if you're new to this, it's pretty much just a way of making two-way contacts over ham radio using slow scan television. Uh, and you can use this program here, which will throw on... Um, I should have changed it to Scotty. Scotty is where I get my most success. I keep forgetting. Um, but you can change the text on here and put people's call signs in. And it's kind of just like, you know, you change the same QSO information. And... Uh, you can, it's a mode that you can upload with for Log of the World and QRZ and that type of thing. That's pretty accepted. Um, but it's a super fun mode. I wish, uh, I wish it was a little bit more popular. There's a Facebook group known as uh, uh, the Amateur Radio Slow Scan Television I recommend you check out too. Could you, show, could you show how you would answer a call? How does their call enter the return picture? So, yeah, I wish somebody would reply so I could, but I can show you somewhat. Um, so... What I'm doing, I have a, I have a set of templates down here. I can double click on them, and it will pull them up. So I have one uh, for answering a call. I have one for 73. Uh, I have one for calling CQ. I can open these up and modify them. So my CQ one stays pretty generic. Um, if I want, I can change the image of it. So I can right click it and hit uh, load from file, and this pulls up uh, my pictures. So I can. If I wanted to change it, I could change it to, um, say, this image right here. I'll just hit OK. And that would just be, uh, you know, that's how you change the image. So I can TX that, which I am going to change it back because that one's a little colorful. Uh, uh, why not this one? This is a picture of a signal stick in the air. I'll just use that. That should be pretty easy to disassemble. Uh, but once they uh, reply, and I have history, so I can go back and see one of my QSOs here. This is, uh, I had one from, yeah. This right here is a reply I had from France for the YouTube video. Uh, so the software in the templates, you can automatically choose to put the last image you've received on your template. That's typically what people do when they reply to kind of show reception and show that they got your image. Um, so he replied with my call sign and uh, he had his template. Somebody's talking on the other sideband on this, so I'm not going to RX too good anyways. But real quick, let me check. Let me check this out. 
I'm still the last one. I mean, I'm still tall on CQ. I'm gonna try Scotty. Uh, Scotty won this time. So we're gonna try to get out there. And it looks like uh, the modulation's changing the um, the output just a little bit. I think I can bump it up again. Yeah, okay. So while that's transmitting, uh, shoot, where was I? Oh yeah, so I was explaining the QSO process. Um, so I would call CQ and they would reply with something like this right here. And this right here is their signal report. Uh, and you can put that in here. And if your template has a signal report in, say you see 595 here, I can change this here. Well, actually, I don't, I don't have mine set up like that. That's my bad. Now, maybe I have to hit enter. Yes, there we go. So I can change it here. And I guess if I double click on this, it'll automatically set it. I can put his call sign in here. So uh, his sign or her sign, either, you know, non-gender non specific, it can be his or her. And it'll automatically change it here for me. Or I can double click on that text and, it, and I can just change that macro to whatever call sign I'm trying to contact. And then I can put, uh, of course, I want to keep my grid in there and my call sign. And then I would go over to TX and then hit transmit. And it would automatically uh, select. Did I just TX? I think I just. I don't know what I just TX, I'll be honest with you, because I've never changed it in the middle of it. I hope that it still kept my CQ message, that's what would make sense, but if it changed it to this right here, then that's gonna look really stupid. But I guess we'll see in just a moment here. Yeah, it, it changed it halfway through, that's funny. All right, so that's a learning experience. Don't change, don't change your TX. But don't change your template halfway through the TX because it will change what you're transmitting too. That's okay. We're going to flood this thing. We're not going to step on anybody, but I am going to make a contact here. Whoever's listening out there, they're probably confused on what the heck I just sent. That's okay though. We'll give it a couple minutes and we'll try again. Uh, I'm on the frequency, uh, I'm sure you can see 14.230, or 14.230 uh, is the uh, the frequency that we transmit on. Uh, if you tune to that frequency, you'll hear on the upper sideband, the uh, the STD, SSTV transmissions. It's a very distinct sound, as long as you can hear it. But I try not to step on anybody, so I like to listen for it before I transmit. But we have been transmitting quite often, so I am just going to give, I'm listening now from New York. If you can hear me, that's a good sign. That means that um, we well, might be able to make you so if you ever get your SSTV set up, or if you have it set up now. Are you, uh, I'm going to go ahead and TX once more. And I'm transmitting using Scotty1. That's okay. We'll be doing. I'll be doing these live streams every Sunday. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, doing. Once I build a little bit of a live stream audience, I'm gonna do a um, a SSTV or a this a contract my my subscribers stream where basically any mode uh, it's free game. We can do FTA. We can do a, a single sideband. We can't do CW because I'm still learning worse. <laughs> I'm still working on that one. But we can do SSTV or whatever, and we can make some contacts with each other, and I think that would be pretty fun. Um, but the, it'll 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 come. Everybody, we'll, we'll get a chance to do that. Um, this sun, uh, next Sunday, what I'm thinking about doing is maybe a PSK31 stream, and uh, that way, uh, 
there's a little bit more activity or it's a little easier to get out there on PSK 31. So I think we might have a little bit more success with that. This right here is kind of, um, you know, it's iffy if we're going to get contacts or not. Also, you may be wondering, I'm wearing a hat right now. And throughout my videos, my past videos on YouTube, I had my my wonderful hair. And um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, I mean, I, I'm glad to do it. I was activated for state active duty, uh, guard duty. I'm, I'm in the reserves, if, if you all weren't aware. And so I'm going to be helping out in the community and, and doing some stuff there. But we're required to have our hair within certain grooming standards. And uh, as you know, all the hair cutting places are closed. So I thought, all right, well, I think I've watched people cut my hair enough to be able to at least give myself a nice little fade. I think I can, well, this is what I ended up with. I'm bald. I, uh, I took the clippers straight to my hair. I need to turn this down. I took the clippers straight to my hair and it all came off. This is, so. I'm going to be wearing a hat for a little while uh, until my hair grows back a little bit, but it is what it is. I haven't, I haven't been like this since I got out of basic training. It'll probably be between 6 or 7 o'clock if I do. Um, listen. I hear an SSTV transmission. But I, I can't pull it out. It'll grow back. Yeah, it'll grow back. I hear one, but I just can't pull it out of the static. Well, we might be able to see at least what it is um, in a moment. Or we'll see. It'll probably be popping up here sometime soon. I'm going to try Scotty 2 next time, and we'll see uh, if we can get a contact that way. I might even... Uh, I'll change my text up a little bit, too. I'll make it a little bit more colorful. I do the whole um, the mask thing, except I'm going to change that top color because it kind of blends in with uh, the background. And we'll make it even bigger. Make it just a little bit bigger. Nice bold. Bolt CQ, right in the middle of the image. And we'll wait just a minute before we transmit that. I'll refresh this and see if I can see that image the other guy transmitted. Parker City. I don't see the call sign on that, but it definitely wasn't meant for me. Was it Q09 Echo? Duo Foxtrot. I'm going to wait just a minute or two and see if uh, if they don't get back. But uh, anyways, uh, so this is the second live stream. So of course, all uh, you know critiques and comments are welcome. If you if you if you think I could do something better or, or have the layout a little different or something like that, feel free to let me know. I'm looking for ideas. I'm not. I'm pretty new to this. I'm pretty new to the live stream thing, but it's. I just know that it's. It's fun engaging with my audience. It's fun being able to actively respond to questions and, and comments and stuff like that. So, uh, it's just a great time to do that. And uh, I know this going on outside has been really rough for everybody. Uh, I'm trying to make the most of it. It's been really nice being able to uh, stay home a little more and, and focus on my YouTube and make this content. I picked up a lot of video editing skills. Um, it's been it's been really fun. It's uh, not for everybody, and I know the situation sucks. Like, don't get me wrong. This is you know this is not good, but 
I, I guess I just try to look at the positives of it. Um, you know, if there are any, if we can. What is this? Is this a... Are those flamingos dead? No. Yeah, I mean, they look sideways. What the heck is going on there? What a weird image to transmit. Is that one of you all? Q09 Echo. This is, they're in Indiana. We should be able to hear them. I got a guy from France yesterday. Maybe he's too close. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call CQ again with this new image. We are max putting, outputting quite a bit of power here. Uh, again, I think I can bump it up another notch. That's what it takes. No level control. Oh, it might be coming up a little bit. I'll, I'll bounce it back just a notch. What's another 20 watts of power anyways? Uh, plastic. I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a nice bold CQ statement. Hopefully somebody will see my call sign and uh, I'll be able to, uh, to hear them come back to me. But yeah, this, these videos are automatically saving in my YouTube. Uh, so if you ever want to go back and watch it, you can. I'm not sure how that's going to affect my, there's a lot of YouTube complicated algorithm stuff to go into, like if people watch videos all the way and that type of thing. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to do this, depending if it is going to help me or, or hurt me. Um, uh, because not everybody's going to sit and watch an hour, 30, 30 minutes, an hour, 45 minutes, whatever live stream, just because. It does look awkward too if you go to my YouTube channel and you don't know it's a live stream and you click on it. Uh, but hopefully. Oh yeah, the flamingos are plastic yard decorations. Okay, I'm I'm a little dense. That's my bad. That's a lot of flamingos. Really? That, I think this was transmitted right with me, so he probably, if my image doesn't pop up, he probably just kind of beat me out of that one. Brought to you in living color. Whiskey to Papa Tango Hotel. That's kind of a cool SSTV image. I kind of want to look it up. Use a small sign to see what he's about. I hear another image coming through, but it's not going to be enough for me to decode. My noise floor, if you guys can see, it's like a steady at least S6. Um, what mode are you in for? I'm in uh, upper sideband. Are you, uh, you going to try to make a contact? We might have better luck um, soon coming into 40 meters. I don't know. If you're trying to make a, a contact, let me know. We can, uh, we can change, uh, change frequencies and just try something private. So this is Whiskey 2 Papa Tango Hotel. I did not get that right. Whiskey to Papa Tango Hotel. Whiskey to Papa Tango Hotel. That's a cool looking rig. Nice old one. I kind of want a classic rig. I like the, the way the, the meters are hardware meters and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. I'm going to try to call it out again. Wait, now I hear an image. 
Do I? This time I'm gonna tune. Just in case, I'm gonna tune my antenna real quick. I am in upper sideband, not upper sideband data. Uh, the bandwidth of the FT450D in one of the sidebands, let's see, FT450D, uh, what should it be? I think it's 3 kilohertz wide. Which is about, yeah, so here's the steps. So in single sideband, it's 1.8, 2.0, 3.0 kilohertz. I think, but I can't say it for certain, but I think SSTV might be 3 kilohertz. Usually only takes up to a maximum of three. Yeah, so the thing with the FT450D is if I put it in data, it restricts me to that middle, um, I think it's 2.0 or 2.4 kilohertz. And if it's in data mode, it won't go any higher than that. I'm going to go ahead and try to TX again. This time, Scotty 2. And we'll see. Oh, he just like transmitted twice. Oh, maybe not. This Kilo 9 Echo, ah, oh, I kind of probably, I'm, I don't think I'm getting out there enough to step on him, but if I did, that's my bad. So he's got a uh, about a hundred watts amp, amp um, amplifier. I want to know what set up the uh, the Kilo Non Echo Kilo Papa is using because he's getting out there. Kilo nine echo kilo papa. SSTV to start out a little PSK and now FT eight, which I find very addicting. He wants to work all states. Hope to put you in my log. I wish we get get an image. Maybe sometime soon, somebody will come back. In the meantime, anybody got any questions? Any feedback on the channel? I might have more luck if I move down a band. I just usually have the most here on uh, 20 meters. Let's see here. We'll check out the... Uh, Oh, I heard something. It was a very defined tone. It was a strong signal. But then it just went away. It sounded like somebody um, just had a key or something. I'm transmitting now, but aren't seeing anything. Are you transmitting SSTV?
I live in an apartment complex with the antenna. It's outside, but the noise floor is quite high. So usually, I make contacts with stations, but they usually have quite a bit of power. Uh, the France one was pretty cool yesterday. Um, but if you like... Oh, you're on the site. So, yeah, there's a... What I did was I googled... Um, I googled live SSTV. Because there are many people that host this thing. And they have a dedicated rig and computer dedicated just to receiving SSTV images. And then it being posted. So, there's a chance that the site that you're on isn't just receiving your image. I had to go through probably five or six before I found this one which is one that I know to be uh, pretty reliable. My last image didn't come out, so I'm going to go ahead and transmit again. Hey, stop, stop, stop. I choose Scotty 1. Okay. Uh, this one seems to be pretty reliable to me, but you might just Google like live SSTV camera, and I just kept clicking on websites and scrolling through to see if I saw my image. And eventually I found one that did show my image. And it was really just that uh, Kilo Echo 5 Romeo Sierra.com slash SSTV. That's the one that seems to be able to work for me. Somebody said they were from New York. Is this you? I forgot who it was. That's your pick with the helmet. Yeah, cool. All right, so you're getting through. You're getting to this station. I'm getting to this station, but, but we're not getting to each other. Um, I'm not sure if you're receiving me, but I'm just said my noise floor is pretty high, so it, it takes quite a bit for uh, people to get to me. They have to break through that S6 noise floor, which in it sometimes it's just not going to happen. Cool. Yeah, so you're coming through. Uh, I forget where the station is. Um, oh, there, Texas. Uh, so if you're coming from New York to Texas, surely I should be able to get you. No, not at this time. So you're not receiving my image as well. That's funny. Propagation is really weird. We should maybe try bands. Oh, somebody's image is coming in. But I, I, it only started transmitting whenever I... Uh, I was halfway through my transmission. I don't know if it's going to show their call sign or not. But this is this is an image coming in. Hey, somebody's. It, hopefully, I'll get it here. This is. I mean, it's a pretty plain signal. It's S nine, S eight, S nine. But yeah, radio wave propagation is funny. We can uh, we can maybe try moving down to uh, fourteen megahertz uh, to see if, or I mean, seven megahertz uh, to see if we can get one there. Let me look up the uh, the SSTV frequency from uh, the forty meter band. Do you, do you have forty meter capabilities? I was hoping he was answering my call, but this might just be him calling CQ. I've missed his call sign up here. It's kind of tiny. It chopped off, so hopefully it'll be back down here. So on 40 meters, the call frequency is about 7.033. Oh, okay, so he's answering my call. All right, so now we can just, what is that? Tango India 2 Yankee Oscar. I think that's his call sign. 
but we'll look it up here real quick too. Tango India to Thank you, Oscar. Yes, Costa Rica. So we're going to go ahead and transmit back to him. And I would say he's about a 575. Let me get this out here before somebody transmits over. So I'm answer so he answered my call, right? So he uh man, uh, if I were him I'd probably put my text a little bigger, but apparently he's got a monster transmitter out there. But uh yeah, so he's answering my call. He gave me a five nine five. Uh and uh, of course he says his call sign. This might be his it's probably more than likely it's call sign. It could be a grid. Uh, I can't really tell from here. But what I do is I'm transmitting back um, to him, Tango India 2, uh, Yankee Oscar. And uh, I'm just giving him my grid and I'm giving him a signal report. Um, and it's going to transmit my same image that I use there. I could have changed it, but this is a nice clear background so people can see. Uh, and if I'm getting all the way to Costa Rica, then uh, I might need that. But, uh, yeah, so there's, this is the guy. I guess he's a big biker. He doesn't have much of a, uh, a biography. But, uh, yeah, we should be popping up here. Uh, looks like he does a lot of single sideband. Um, he must speak a lot of languages. But uh, I don't know how that would work. I guess I, I don't make a lot of foreign contacts. But he's quite quiet a bit. So hopefully, best case scenario, he hears me. And then uh, if he'd like to reply back with any more information, he can. And then we'll both say our 73s. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just because I know I've secured the contact, uh, I'm going to send him a different image for the 73. Maybe something a little cooler. Uh, I'll throw in the picture of my dog. I hear an image coming through. Maybe. Now his is pretty strong. It's pretty it's pretty defined. I hear something. I get a lot of interference on 40 meters. But it Billy, if you wanted to change frequencies after this and go to the 40 meter band and, and check uh if we can hear each other, uh, we can do that. We can try. Um, we can try this seven point zero three three if you would like on the upper side band, and uh, see if we can't make a contact on there. It is getting a little, a little later in the day. Maybe forty meters might start uh, coming around here. But yeah, just shoot uh, shoot me a message in the chat if if you want to try it out. I hear SSTV in the background, but there's like maybe, oh, there it comes. So if you're curious what it sounds like, this is it. And this is a really clear signal, uh, especially for com from coming from Puerto Rico, or Costa, is it Costa Rico? Costa Rico, yeah. Uh, that was fast. How did you know that already? It was only like halfway through the image. But yeah, so that's what a SSTV image kind of sounds like over the radio. And so now we're getting back an image from him, and it looks like um, it's in his house, maybe? And the cool thing about MMSS TV is it also logs these images too, so you can go back and look over them. Um, I don't know how it does this, but I use DX Keeper as my logbook. And this, yesterday, it logged a contact without me even opening it. And I didn't even put any of the information in it. And I went to log it, and it was already there. So this is an image of him. Uh, Maybe, I would assume it's probably an image of him.
And he's saying 73. So then we'll we'll send an image back here. I'll move this move this down a little bit. So you can see my dog's eye. So yeah, so we got our 73 back. Uh, and we'll go ahead and send him his 73. And we just completed QSO. So I'm glad that we got to do this on stream. That was uh that's super cool. Um I think let's see, so he was using Scotty one. So from now on, I mean that I made a contact yesterday with Martin too. So maybe it doesn't make a huge difference. But as soon as I transmit this 73, uh Billy, I'm moving to um frequency seven point zero three three. And I'll transmit a CQ message and see if you can't hear me on the 40 meter band. Um, if 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 there's a, if there's a contact in progress or something there, we can move up to 7171. And that's going to be okay. So actually, that's a lower side band. The, uh, it looks like the the band plan is to have lower sideband SSTV contacts on 40 meters. So uh, so we'll do if this is accurate. It's on amateur dash radio dash wiki dot net. It sounds pretty legit. Hey, I've, I've figured out how to put pictures on any on my. I need to figure out how to put pictures on my MSS. Yeah. Yeah, I know how. Uh, I'll show you real quick uh, after I get done transmitting my 73 here. Um, and I really implore you to check out the YouTube video coming out tomorrow because I get into detail of all the settings in, in, in MS, MMSTV and show you how to set it up. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll show you real quick because I'll, I'll, be, I'll change image anyway because um, we just transmitted that one. So if you got your template modified, your templates where you modify all of your uh, your words, your macros on the screen, and that type of thing, and well, your layout. So the only way you can change your image is once you've selected your template, you can go to the TX tab, right click, and hit load from file, and it's gonna pull up your pictures folder. And from there, you can select the image that you'd like to TX. For max, I'm gonna use this one just because it's really clear when I try to contact Billy here. Uh, because obviously we're not getting through each other too well, but this right here is a nice clean image. So any type of text is going to be really defined there on the background, as you can see. Now I'm also going to change the uh, the CQ back to multiple colors too. I think that might help out uh, across the background, and we'll put it right there on the middle. Hey, welcome to the stream, uh, Simon. Uh, you just missed a SSTV contact. We've been trying for quite a while, but we finally got one in there. Well, it sounds like we're getting another image, but it's not clear enough to to be defined. But I'm going to move frequencies to. Uh, okay, so you have a bunch of CW on seven three three. Let's go to. Uh, Ah, probably PSK going on on seven one seven one, but let me just see what it sounds like on the lower side bands. Uh. So let's see. That's awfully close to the. Uh, actually, 7171, that's not within general license privileges, is it? Am I thinking the right way? I'm in general, but I think you have to have, I think you have to be an extra to do on 171. Let me just look up the band plan and we'll we'll just choose a frequency that's within SSTV for the band plan. I heard some type of tone, so if somebody transmitted, I heard a tone. 
So I can hear somebody. It sounds like uh, somebody keying them. Uh, but then there's somebody on the other side van. All right, anyways, I'm going to look this up real quick. Yeah, I figured since I was a general, I couldn't. So I'll do uh, the band plan for... Let me... I have to pull it up real quick. So for 40 meters as a general... Typically, 7171 would be the SSTV frequency. So we can't actually use that, but... We can find something that's going to work for us here. Maybe seven one seven one seven five is the limit for generals. Yeah, I think it goes from seven seven dot one twenty five through seven dot one seventy five is off limits to generals, and then seven one seventy five up to seven two is okay for generals. Let's see here. Let's look, let's let's find out real quick. Why not? Always having to Google this, no matter how many times I look at it. So for twenty meters or forty meters, seven one two five to one two five, and then you can go from seven one seven five to seven three. So that means, and that's for uh, image as well. So let's just move up to 7175. No, let's do 7. I'm hearing a lot of activity. Okay, 7190 sounds clear for me, Billy. Uh, how's it sounding for you on the lower sideband. Seven one ninety. Yeah, I need to memorize the band plan or I need to get a big post for either one. Now I'm hearing Morse code. I don't even think that's in the... Alright, we're gonna have to move up, I guess. Seven point two hundred. Okay, seven one seven one, you're good? Is it was that what I said? I'm all over the place. It's hard to stream and do all this at the same time. Billy, what what frequency was it that um we we settled on before? I think it was Was it 7175? 7190, that's right. 7190, all right. On the lower sideband, I'm not getting any. Oh, there's an image coming in. That's got to be you. Is that you? Kilo Charlie 2, November, Victor Golf. Yes, there's the helmet. That's all we needed to do is switch bands. The 40 meters, I'm hearing you fine. I don't know if you're going to hear me fine or not. But let's go ahead. Kilo Charlie 2, November, Victor Golf. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my log book. So that is you. Awesome. And it's actually coming in pretty clear. I mean, you would think so, you being in New York and all. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody got on here and started talking on phone, though. So I'm going to go ahead and throw you in the log book. It'll probably actually do it automatically for me. It looks like it did the other guy the same way. 
I'll, I'll put you in just in case. Okay, I hear your Morse code. So I'll go ahead and transmit back. So I'm just going to select my new image here. And uh, PO Charlie 2, November Victor Golf. We'll, we'll do a new image for this. Now we better keep it the same. We better keep it the same, just in case. Hopefully you'll, you're able to hear me there on the lower side band too. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw you in the logbook here. Well I, well, I guess we better make sure that you can hear me first for that to be legitimate. Hopefully you get a good quality image for me. I think I'm going to turn the transmit power up just a tad too. Oh, my level control kicked in. That was a bad idea. My level control's up. Uh, when I switch modes, so let me know. It's probably distorting my image. I'm gonna come down just a tad more. You're coming in fine, okay. Let me know if, just from my own experience, if I, uh, how bad my power came down as I, did the image start fading as I adjusted my power there down? How much power are you running? Um, between 60 and 90 watts um, I'm receiving you just north of Toronto awesome so I was getting out there I was always thinking that if my level control kicked in it would immediately start hurting my image so yeah if you're receiving me fine that's awesome I'll throw you in the logbook then And we're about what, seven one ninety. Pretty good signal, North Toronto, Canada, on a half wave in fed noisy neighborhood. So I have a half wave in fed. I have the um, it's a 63 foot half wave in fed and I live in an apartment and luckily um, sorry let me get this QSO in here um, I live in a very uh, noisy apartment and I don't have a TX image to return haven't set it up as yet ha ha I'm using ham radio deluxe which is different from oh that's that's understandable hey as long as you receive me though um, that's a two-way communication in my book uh, but um, the halfway in fed I'm working on it but have you in the log okay uh, and I do have a tutorial comment on out on MMSS TV uh, tomorrow if you're interested. I haven't used Ham Radio Deluxe version of it, but um, and I'll also update my logs. It might take me one or two days to get them updated, but it'll be up there. Um, but the halfway in fed, back to it. I uh, That was my first and only HF antenna. So I live in an apartment, and of course in an apartment there's restrictions on uh, antennas. Um, so what I did was I found the most discreet HF antenna that I could, which was the without paying five hundred dollars for a Magaloop antenna, and that was the half-wave infit. I thought I would be able to do something with it because I live on the second floor. I'm on a balcony, and um, there's a tree that is about uh, maybe about sixty feet out from the balcony. So I went outside and I took my half-wave infit, and actually, you know what? I've got this cool little camera set up. I can take you out and show you the power of the internet. So, 
here's what we're going to do. We're going to go see. Uh, you know, actually, you won't be able to hear me if I do that. All right. Well, I'll do it anyways. I just won't stay out there too long and talk too much. But I will show you the halfway bend fit. All right, so I'm back. Uh, I don't know how laggy that was for you, but that was the halfway wave fit I have. So a little bit of back background. Um, if you were, if you guys were actually able to see that, uh, so I took one end and I tied it to a rope and tied the other end of the rope to a water bottle. And I took that thing and just chucked it over a tree uh, across the yard that you maybe have saw. And uh, I pulled it up. And nobody said anything. I haven't said anything to anybody. I haven't mentioned it. It's just kind of a giant long wire hanging up in the air between my balcony and the tree. I, I used it for quite a while. And uh, then I learned about the, uh, the physics of an infed half wave. So... Me being a new general, I was still learning HF. I don't have, I don't really have an Elmer. I don't have uh, people to call for help. I just kind of Google it until I figure out what's going on. But um, I kept getting RF interference in the apartment itself. Uh, weird things were going on. My laptops were coming, or my screens were flashing sometimes. Touch lamps were going on and off. Um, just a lot of weird stuff going on. And eventually, and my SWR would always creep up after transmitting for a little while. Maybe my, once everything started getting a little hot, uh, my SWR would come up. And I'm like, what is going on here? And my transceiver would cut out, and I would do it over and over again. I'm surprised I didn't burn up the transceiver. So I find out, I go out one day, and I feel of the, uh, the, the box with a choke, and it was hot. And I'm like, okay, obviously I've got some type of RF issues going on. I need to figure this out. So uh, I went online and figured out that because of the way the infed's made, the way I understand it is the shielding on your coax for your uh, your antenna line acts as a uh, um, a counterpoise for the infed. Uh, still thinking with a wire length. So you probably got one through what is that, eighty meters or one sixty? That's a quite a big infed there that you have. I wish I had room to put up a nice long antenna, I do. But uh, I figured out that with an infed, there's a lot of misconceptions on how it works, saying it doesn't need a counterpoise, or it does, or it doesn't need a ground, and it doesn't. Well, you find out that the shielding on the coax um, line that comes to your transceiver is working as the counterpoise. Well, in my case, it goes directly into my apartment. So what I did was um, I googled ways that I could stop the RF from coming back and I did two things and it greatly improved my uh, my setup even though it's not that high off the ground and it's been up in the tree it still gets out there the first thing I did was I did attach a little uh, ground to the wire and um, to work as a counterpoise to see if I could filter out some of that was that was going out on the shielding onto that small little wire you might have seen it in the video the next thing I did the biggest thing was I created someone suggested that I create what's called like an ugly ballon um, which is this guy right here you you've probably seen it on the PVC pipe outside so I'm still learning about RF uh, you know I'm still trying to understand how all this works but I guess the gist of it was RF was going out on the antenna line and too much, of it, too much of it was being reflected back, which was heating up the ferret core in my, uh, 
my box and it was causing my SWR to go crazy after transmitting for a while. So somehow this guy right here stops that from happening. Some type of magic. I'm sure there's people in my chat and people watching the stream that know exactly what's going on here and how the physics of it work. But I just took a giant fat PVC pipe, wrapped about 20 wraps of coax around it really tight, taped it up, and it solved all of my RF issues. Something about the balance and the unbalanced and the RF coming back and forming your own choke for the RF and blah, blah, blah. Some, it, it's magic. It works. It, it, start, it stopped my RF problems. And so I learned that with the infed half wave, you, uh, you do have a little bit of that interference or a little bit of weird antenna stuff going on with your uh, transmission line that you, you might need to pay attention to if it's too short or depending on where it goes. But the infed half wave, short answer, is my antenna. Um, that's probably going to be my antenna for a while. I'm really lucky to be in a situation where I can just throw that thing up and uh, I can use it. <laughs> Magic's how I explain it too. Yeah, it's it works. The thing, it, you know, it works and it gets out and I, uh, I get some DX in there. Sometimes I have to pump a little power in an FT8 to get out there, but I get out there. Um, and I've learned a lot along the way with it. There's not a lot of options for HF or the apartment dwellers. Um, without spending a lot of money. I've, I don't have the tools to make antennas myself. I would love to have one of those magnetic loop antennas. They're quite expensive. And uh, if you follow this channel, if you've been following it up until recently, uh, everything's been focused on ham radio on a budget. Here recently, I've kind of invested some money in some nicer radios. Uh, but that means I have to cut corners every single place else. Uh, so unfortunately that's what that means but I just don't have the money to throw around on the mag loop antenna is the thing but I guess we could come back and uh, as long as I'm still streaming I'll throw it back on the, the 40 meter band I hear an image coming in as soon as I tune to it I don't know if we'll catch who it's going to or, or what it's for but but anyways, yeah, SSTV this week, I've been trying to do regular uploads on Mondays and Fridays. I think I'm going to stick with that. Um, I don't know, maybe there might be a weekly theme every week or something like that I might do. Um, that's kind of my idea. I think maybe this week I'm just going to really focus on SSTV for, my, um, for both Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube and live stream. But the tutorial tomorrow is going to be pretty nice. Friday, if I do do another SSTV video, it's going to be focused on, it's kind of get back to our roots and I'm going to focus on the budget. So if you're unaware, you can use an audio interface for SSTV, but you don't have to. SCT, SSTV is actually a really robust mode that allows you to transmit and receive the image by holding the, uh, a speaker up to your microphone. So you can... Uh, you can actually key down a two meter radio, play an SSTV thing from your phone, the, uh, uh, and then on the other end you can have your radio speaker out, blasting into the microphone input of the cell phone, record it, and you can still decode the image. So I'm thinking that I might focus on maybe doing two meter SSTV on a budget uh, for my video Friday. Tomorrow's going to be more of a comprehensive HF guide, kind of uh, like what we've done today. I'm going to check the live SSTV too and see what's been going on here. There's a lot of activity. This whole page is pretty much filled up. That's funny. This image got split up. It's half my image and then half somebody else's. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be SSTV this week. I'm thinking about doing the budget video Friday. Um, next week I'm thinking about doing PSK31. So I'm going to stream... At this moment, with my state active guard duty, it's going to allow me to stream at 6 o'clock on Sundays. Every once in a while, things like that change, so it's hard to say for certain, but right now I'm going to say 6 o'clock, 
Next Sunday, we're going to do another live stream, and it's going to be up PSK31, which is a text mode, and it's, it's, it's a low signal text mode, so you can punch, you can, you can type in the keyboards actively and transmit at the same time, which is really cool. Uh, I think that guy's getting a reply to his image, but I'm not receiving it. Um, nope, there it goes. But uh, that's what I do with my HF radio. I hold the microphone up to the computer speaker and use the SSTV. That's it works. I you can I you can do that. I mean, you you can do that. Um, th that's that's how I did my uh, my SSTV download from the ISS video I did uh, a few months ago. I just held my. You can see in the video I took my cell phone and I took a Baofeng radio. Boom! SSTV image. Uh, from the ISS. You can do it really cheap, but I just want to make sure that I'm, as I'm growing the channel, I want to make sure that I'm focusing on um, uh, ham radio on a budget because my focus isn't necessarily to improve upon the capabilities that we already have and the operation we already have. Well, I mean, it is, but I want to make sure that I'm still getting those new people in here. Um, I'm a younger person. There's not a lot of young people in ham radio. And so I'm trying to use that to my advantage to get other young people into the hobby. Uh, I need to share stuff more on my Facebook. But, you know, as a young person these days with the cell phones and everything else going on, nobody ever comes to you and tells you that you can transmit and receive images from space. They don't tell you you can transmit and receive data packets over a, a walkie-talkie uh, to kind of simplify it. Um, upgrade. That's a pretty clear image. Upgrade man, what is this? The images are coming in now. Of course they're coming in nice and clear now. Um, but nobody tells you you can do these things with a radio. And I want to be, I guess, the guy or the channel that somehow gets those videos suggested to them to say, hey, look look how much cool things you can do with a $30 radio. Go buy one. Go try it out. So once it, people who are ham radio operators, typically we like to tinker. It's usually our tinkering that leads us into um, – our journey with this type of thing. We get we we see something we can tinker with, something we can experiment around with, and it catches our attention, and then the hobby kind of goes deeper from there. So you gotta hook those individuals and you gotta catch them too. <coughs> Especially while they're young, uh, to get them interested in this type of thing. So uh oh heck why not? I'll I'll call this guy. Never mind, somebody's already answering. Okay. Um, I'm 15 years old. Well, welcome to the channel. I'm, I'm glad you're interested in radio. I wish I would have got interested in ham radio when I was 16 or 15. Um, but it's really cool. Uh, that's that's really cool because you can learn, you you have so much time to learn about the hobby. Um, and especially with all these new digital modes that are out these days, um, there's just so many different things that you can do with it. And in the binding with the modern technology with ham radio. To form internet packets and eye gates for APRS and all the cool things that you can do, it's one of the most broad things you can do in, in, in right now, hobby wise, as a young person. Uh, I used to use the Ugly Ballon on my 9 to 1 NFED for the same reasons. The new one I installed today is 49 to 1, and I haven't had enough time to see if I'm going to need Ugly Ballon for it. Yeah, I figured it out as soon as. Uh, I, Oh my God! Thank you so much, Macbeth eighteen just donated seventy five dollars. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Oh my God! I haven't. Thank you so much for the super chat. I had that enabled, but I didn't think anyone would ever actually use it. I'm sure that's going to show up. If not here. Oh man! There we go. Yeah, thank you so much for the seventy-five dollars. Oh my God, that's crazy! I never thought somebody would donate money just to. That's that's awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, that means a lot to me. I'm that I'm 
I'm a budget kind of guy, so I can make seventy five dollars do a lot. Especially like for the channel, I can I can use that money to buy uh, stuff for different projects. And I was thinking about doing some maybe like cheap TNCs or something like that, or a mobile linked channel. So thank you so much for that seventy five dollars. Um. Anyways, um. Oh my god, that was awesome. Sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, shoot, I can't even, I don't even know what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm at a loss for words. Um, there's so much that you can do with, with ham radio, and it's such a cool hobby for young people to get into because... Uh, they, they can learn different aspects of computer programming, RF engineering, and uh, you just learn so much from it, and it's such a nice little social network. I will say sometimes it's a little difficult when you're the minority and there's all these you know older gentlemen and you're trying to, when it's a hobby about talking with people, sometimes it's hard. I found this, uh, even me at, uh, I think it was 19 years old when I got my license, or 20, no, I was like 20, I was at least 21. But even for at 21 years old, I try to go to the club meetings. It is really hard being in a hobby where it's about talking to people to talk to older people. And maybe that's the reason that I drifted toward um, the digital stuff. Um, but I enjoy it. I love it. And especially making this YouTube content, I see a whole nother group of ham radio operators that I don't get to, to typically talk to. Typically if I turn on the and spin the dial, uh, there's a lot of people that don't share a lot of the same views as me. It's a lot of it's a lot I hate to say it a lot of really just really, really, really old people and uh, I just it's hard for me to make conversation with that. I try to. Uh, but with YouTube I see people that are interested in the digital stuff and interested in I don't know, it's just a, it's a fun community. This is really fun for me, and I, you know, I, I love doing it, and I love uh, engaging with you all, and uh, this is really fun for me, and I, I enjoy it thoroughly. Um, so I'm going to keep doing it, and I'm really glad that being off of work uh, just for a couple of weeks, even though I have uh, active guard duty, I'm really glad that I'm able to uh, kind of experience putting more time into my channel and engaging a little bit more with my audience. And um, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, and uh, I really appreciate uh, all the support you all give me. And and uh, even having like 15 to 20 viewers this stream for an hour has been really awesome. And being able to engage with you all and answer your questions and make contacts with you. So uh, yeah, that's I guess that's I'm off my tangent, which is feeling kind of wholesome. But uh, we'll see if we can make maybe one or two more contacts, and if. Uh, if anybody wants to ask uh, any questions or if they have any feedback, uh, be sure to shoot me uh, the chat here. I'm hearing I'm hearing a little bit more SSTV activity on the 20 meter band. I'm definitely seeing it anyways as I refresh this page. I'm going to try calling CQ again. I I seem to have a little bit more luck when I edited this. Uh, it made it a little bit more colorful, so maybe people are just hearing me, hearing me better, or they're able to see it's a little bit more defined. Again, Macbeth, thank you so much for that. If you're still watching, I really appreciate that. That, that was really awesome of you, um, and I, I assure you, it's going to go back into something good with this channel. So let's see if we can get uh, maybe one or two more. Try calling CQ. Are you talking about on the SSTV? I don't know if the chat's a little delayed for me. Oh, let's see. Uh, 
Are you, uh, Ham Radio Essentials, are you listening? I forgot if you said that you had your stuff up or not. Oh, I forgot to check my, uh... Okay, Scotty One's taking a while to get out there. I'm just checking to make sure my, um... Yeah, the chat is delayed about a minute. Gotcha. I don't know if that's a setting uh, that I can adjust. I guess I'll have to look into it. <coughs> I'm still learning about this. Uh, the program I'm using is... Uh, I created the event for the stream. And uh, I hear something. I think they were... Ah, I heard it. I'm hearing some uh, SSTV, but it's not breaking the squelch. There it is. It is quite noisy, but there's something coming through here. Exactly, yeah, you, you do have a lot more time for ham radio communication. That's that's one thing. I mean, you can practice social distancing and do ham radio stuff. Um, I'm thinking I might do another soda activation here too on one of the uh, the mountains here that are um, that are occupied as a park. I I live in the Appalachians, so there's a lot of summits around me, and only one of them have been activated, and that's the one that's a trail. But there's a lot of other summits that have no trail that people never go to. So. As a little adventure, I think I might take the fiance and me and her might just go hike up one of those mountains here maybe sometime next weekend. And I might do another little vlog video on it. Um, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll enjoy my isolations. I'm, I'm a little more uh, introverted, so it's not as unnatural for me. Um, oh, no problem, Billy. I'm, I'm glad that you could learn. Uh, was it? I, I forgot if it was you that was coming to learn. Uh, some more about SSTV, but welcome to the stream. I'm glad you could. Uh, I'm glad you can enjoy it, and uh, I hope you check out the video tomorrow too. You'll learn a little bit more too about. Uh, I go in a little bit more detail about the automatic level control and that type of thing. Uh, oh, you have to put your antenna outside. Are you in a kind of situation like I am, where you're a little bit more restricted? I know a lot of people. They just have like a long wire. They go and drop it out their window or whatever, and then they just pull it back in whenever they need to. Uh, didn't get your last. Yeah, it's it's pretty active right now. Let me let me tune my antenna again too. I'm gonna check. Let me check the website here and see if. Yeah, it didn't get me either. These right here, these guys are putting out some strong signals. I can't hear them, but they're apparently getting out there somewhere, and I don't. There's just there's just a lot of activity going on. I don't think I can. I don't think I can get a word in. Uh, what uh, what antenna are you using? Because I'm I'm interested in portable antennas. Uh, oh my God! There's another one. Thank you so much, Billy, for the $20 uh, Super Chat uh, donation there. I really appreciate it. I, I feel, I feel kind of weird, but that's, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I can, that's enough money for me to take. I can take that and then buy another device for the channel that I can review and, and hopefully make some tutorials and show people how to use. So there's a lot of different um, ideas and stuff that I've been trying to do, and uh, that's really awesome that... Yeah, this. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Billy. I'm I'm glad that I could help you uh, learn a little bit more about SSTV, and and thank you so much for your twenty dollar donation. I really appreciate that. You guys are overwhelming tonight. I don't even. <laughs> this is a lot for me. Like I didn't think uh, anybody would be using that feature, but I I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Um, I'll try to call CQ again and this never mind, I hear another I hear some type of signal coming in. 
Somebody's doing CW. Another five dollars? Oh my god. Macbeth, thank you. You guys gotta stop it. You gotta stop it. You're making me feel you make me feel weird. Thank you so much for the five dollars, Macbeth. Uh round me up to hundred. That's awesome. That's crazy. Thank you so much. You guys are too much. You really are. Um, I'm sweating. Thank you. Yeah, I, I can definitely, I can take that money and recycle it straight back into the channel, and uh, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Uh, I am getting some images from somebody. I don't know if it's in the chat. Uh, it's a little, uh, it's a little muddy, but let's see. Still not be able to get their call sign if it's the right, uh, if it's the right color. Um, nah, I don't know. It looks like maybe it was an image of a mountain or something. Uh, there's some strong signals coming in through here. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat them out. Which they're making QSO, so that's cool. I mean, these guys have some powerhouses. I wonder what they're running. Oh, you guys can't see the. Sorry, you can't see the page. I'm heading off for dinner. I'll be sure to watch the complete video when it posts. 73, Billy, uh, from Billy. Kilo Charlie 2, November, Victor Golf. Thank you for tuning into the stream. Enjoy your dinner. Uh, I didn't anticipate a stream coming on this long, but I've still got an audience, so uh, we, we got a little bit more than last week, and hopefully we'll have a little bit more next week. But thank you so much for tuning into the stream, uh, and uh, I will check out the video tomorrow. And if you have any questions about SSTV, I'll be there to, to answer the comments uh to that video as well anyway 73 god bless um these guys i was i was talking before these guys got some strong signals uh and it's pretty active so it's it's kind of cool to see it come in it's not as strong for me but they are picture perfect for uh for the guys uh who's running this station here so they're saying 73 i'm gonna wait for the other guy to transmit this is his 73 i'm sure this is his 73 for sure um i'm gonna wait for him to transmit his message and then i'm gonna call out again and see if i can't make another contact i'm hearing some type of tone it sounds like a, a keyer i keep hearing it every once in a while There's still an image coming in. But SSTV 20 meters tonight is blowing up. We've, we might have started up some. But there's a uh, amateur radio slow scan television group on Facebook. Uh, if you're interested in SSTV, that looks like a good resource. And those guys post the images that they receive every single day. So on top of <clears throat> excuse me, using these live SSTV um, pages, you can use those to uh, I'm hearing, I still hear a signal in the background. It just keeps on going. Uh, you can use those guys kind of as a guide to show you uh, who's, who's getting received and how your image is coming through. ST, SSTV, I see, I see some letters up here. I just see a C and a W, but that's about all I can see. SSTV is going... Is blowing up tonight. So that right there, that guy just sent his 73. So that QSO is over. I'm going to try to get in there and see if I can transmit and make another contact or two. There's a CW message coming through. I don't know CW. Anybody know what they're saying? Oh, never mind. Somebody's broadcasting an image over top of them. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, it is kind of a weird frequency to do CW at, but somebody, I don't know if somebody in the chat. Um, Whiskey 7 Hotel. Whiskey 7 Hotel 3? What is that? ST, SSTV's popping tonight. It is. 
20 meter ban on SSTB is hot. Uh, so we got another QSO going on. I see a signal report here. So we're going to have to, if we make another contact, we're going to have to wait just a moment before that's over uh, so we can, uh, we're not transmitting over top to somebody. But I might, uh, it's been about an hour and a half. Um, I might call it a stream for tonight, boys and girls. Um, it's been really fun. Uh, this stream, it, it started out a little slow, but halfway through, once we started to get uh, get some feedback in there, then it, it turned it turned into a pretty good stream. So really good stream tonight. Thank you all for watching, and, and thanks for everyone who donated. That's super awesome. I didn't really expect anybody to use that feature, but uh, it's really nice that you did that, and, and I really appreciate it. Uh, got got one more image. I'll let that come through too. Might be able to decode it, but uh, it was probably just the last station that sent the image sending his call sign with CW. That yeah, you're right. That's probably what it was. That's probably what it was. It was like I couldn't hear the image though, and it was like off by itself. But there's a good possibility I just couldn't hear the SSTB, and then his his ID came in. Um. Good, good, yeah, that's probably the, what, exactly what happened. Uh, but yeah, thanks thanks for everybody that, that was watching tonight. And uh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to say, again, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. Next Sunday, we're going to be doing PSK 31. Um, and everybody will be invited to participate in that too. I'll just make out a group thing. Like if people if people are viewing or in the chat and they want to try to make contact with me, that's cool. I'll put you in the logbook and uh, we'll, we'll make sure it gets uploaded. Um, thanks for the stream. Looking forward to getting to SSTV setup comps. Thanks for your videos. Uh, Kilo Delta 2, Mike Papa, Papa 73. 73 to you. Thanks for tuning into the videos. Uh, yeah, this week we'll put out some SSTV stuff. Monday it's going to be a pretty good this intro video on getting started. Friday is going to be budget setup and how you can do it without the audio interface and that type of thing. But thanks, thanks everybody for watching and. Uh, if you'd like, tune in next Sunday. We'll do this again at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. Anyways, 73 to everybody, and have a good night.